Hi. Now, let's suppose you're given a cubic polynomial with roots alpha, beta, and gamma, and you're asked to find a new cubic equation with the cubes of those roots. And one of the identities that you're going to need to use will be alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed. And I suspect you would normally be given this identity, okay, that you could use. You can see that it's got the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma. It's got here to the sum of the product pairs of roots and the product of roots. So you should be able to make your normal substitutions in for those. But what I want to do here is just show you how we get this identity, just in case, for instance, you're not uh, given it, okay, and you have to prove it. And it's quite involved, and I've color-coded it to help make it a lot easier to work with. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, you start with alpha plus beta plus gamma, and we cube all of this. So what I'll do is write this down as the three brackets, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll just copy in that first bracket, okay, alpha plus beta plus gamma, and start to expand these last two brackets. So we'll do alpha first of all times each of those three terms, and you will get alpha squared plus alpha beta plus alpha gamma. Then we'll go on and just do beta times each of those three terms. And that's going to give you alpha beta plus beta squared plus beta gamma. And finally, gamma times each of those three terms. OK, and there we go. Next, what I want to do is simplify this last bracket here. OK, so we just need to group up our terms. And you'll notice what I've done here is rearranged it. We've got the sum of the squares of alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So that term, that term, and that term there. And then you'll notice that I can group up in pairs the terms alpha beta. We've got alpha beta here, and we've got another alpha beta here. So we've got two of them. And similarly, you'll see there's two lots of alpha gamma and two lots of beta gamma. So I can pull out two as a common factor across there. Now what I want to do next is just expand the brackets, okay? So what I'm going to do is multiply alpha with just these th first three terms, first of all, okay? So if we do that, you're going to get alpha cubed, and then you're going to get alpha beta squared, and then alpha gamma squared, okay? Then, okay, we'll carry on and we'll do beta times each of those three terms. Okay, that's giving us these three terms here. And similarly, we're going to do gamma times each of those three terms. And that gives us this result. Next, I'm going to just multiply all of this bracket with all of this last term in the square bracket here. Okay, so that's going to give me this result here. Two lots of all of alpha plus beta plus gamma multiplied by all of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay, there. Right. Now what I want to do is simplify this expression here. What I'll do is just write down the first three terms, alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed, which you'll see up here. Alpha cubed, beta cubed, and gamma cubed. And then I'm going to write this term here down, okay? So we'll just rearrange the order at the moment, okay, of the terms. And now this is leaving me with a few other terms up here, okay? And what I'm going to do is pull out alpha across two terms, these two up here. If I pull alpha out as a common factor, you can see that I'm going to be left with alpha beta to give me this term here, and 
alpha gamma to give me alpha squared gamma when I expand the bracket. Okay, and you'll notice I've left a space here and you'll see why in a moment. Similarly, I can pull out beta across two terms, the two terms I've highlighted in red here. And in the bracket, I'm going to get alpha beta for this term and beta gamma, which would give me this term here. And finally, I'm going to pull out gamma, okay, across these two terms. And I'm left with alpha gamma plus beta gamma. So as I say, I've left these spaces here, all right, and you'll see why. So this is basically, okay, the result above. But what I'm going to do now is a little trick. We're going to add in this value here. This space here would be beta gamma. So I'm going to put beta gamma in. I've added that in. And when I multiply this out, it obviously creates plus alpha beta gamma. But that term wasn't in here, so I've now taken it back out again. And what I'm going to do in this space, if you haven't guessed already, is put in alpha gamma. Okay, I put in alpha gamma, but I've got to take out alpha beta gamma, okay, because this term was not up here. And similarly, I'm going to put here alpha beta, and then I'm going to subtract alpha beta gamma, okay? So, what this does is that it helps me to be able to simplify these three terms here, because I can factorize that. They've got a common factor of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, okay? So what I'm going to do now then is factorize and group together my terms. So you'll see I've got the top line here covered up to here. I've then pulled out a common factor, alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, okay, across each of these three terms, and then put in alpha, beta, and gamma as the last three terms in this bracket. And also, I've got to group together these three terms, which is going to be minus three lots of alpha, beta, gamma. And finally, I can group together two of these plus another one of these, okay, giving me three lots, okay. So what we've got is alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed. Now we've got three lots of these terms, okay, three lots of that there, okay, minus the three alpha, beta, gamma. And all I've done next is just rearrange this. Make alpha cube beta plus beta cube plus gamma cube the subject by taking away this term and adding this term to both sides, okay? So we've got our alpha plus beta plus gamma all cubed, and then we've got minus that term, and then plus this term. Okay, so I hope you've got that. That's the way we go about proving that if you're not given that result. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope that's been of some use to you. Um, if so, just give us a like, and you might want to also subscribe to my YouTube channel. So uh, thanks again. Hopefully, catch you in the next video.